Uh, hi, uh, uh, my name is uh, Gary Gall. I'm an extension specialist and, and, and associate professor with OSU South Centers in, in Piketon. As you can tell, uh, well, some of you uh, may or may not may or may not know about this particular plant. Uh, uh, this is a, a very new plant. Um, it's called the uh, uh, Chinese uh, goji berry and some folks uh, uh, call this a wolf berry. It's, it's a very interesting plant and, and uh, in, in, the United, in the U.S. Uh, it's still a very very new uh, a new crop. Uh, uh, some gardeners have uh, started uh, planting them in their, in their home landscape and and they treat it uh, as more of a, a health uh, food, and which is part of our uh, superberry uh, project. Uh, and then uh, uh, and this this crop is really not new in China. Uh, there are uh, tens and thousands of acres of uh, Chinese goji berries uh, in northwest China. Uh, and, and actually, when you go to some of the health food stores uh, in, uh, in the U.S., and you can buy. Uh, dried uh, goji berries and, and, and they are known to uh, provide lots and lots of health uh, benefits and, and as you can tell right now it's, uh, it's uh, mid, mid September uh, in Ohio and uh, this plant can actually produce uh, fruits in all season long and all the way from I would say June-ish uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to about frost and, and you see some of the red uh, berries uh, it's, it's uh, well, it is a, a true, uh, true berry. It's actually related to uh, tomatoes and peppers, and, and more than our our fruit crops. And we uh, these plants uh, uh, were uh, planted this year, and and they're still uh, uh, still coming along. And uh, goji berries and, uh, really prefer uh, rocky soils and a very very perfect drainage. Um, in this part of Ohio, uh, in Piketon, uh, we really don't have a uh, perfectly drained soil, so we cre created raised beds to improve the soil drainage. Uh, and they are still uh, uh, they are still coming along for a while. We were we were wondering whether they, they are going to make it. Uh, but anyway, uh, goji berries and and they uh, they produce these uh, little kind of orange and to reddish berries. Uh, most of our varieties. Um, are red, uh, uh, but there is also uh, a, a type of uh, goji berries uh, uh, that's black. And uh, you know, we, uh, you may or may not be able to see this. And actually, they do have these little purplish flowers. Uh, that, that looks pr pretty interesting. Uh, but fruit-wise, and they're when they are ripe, they are supposed to be uh, supposed to be red. And when they are half ripe, and they are kind of more orangeish. Uh, it's a uh, uh, if you have good drainage in your in your garden you can grow it very well and if you uh, uh, if you don't uh, if you uh, want to in grow this uh, as a commercial crop uh, you uh, you definitely want to either uh, plant them in uh, in more like a sandy loamy soil uh, or you have to build uh, uh, raised beds uh, there are many uh, different uh, 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 well different varieties uh, uh, available in, in the market if you just buy uh, straight uh, uh, goji berries uh, uh, seedlings uh, and the fruit quality uh, may or may not be uh, that great and so it's good good to uh, good to uh, buy uh, known varieties uh, the the variety that we have is called crimson star uh, it's supposed to be the leading variety uh, leading Chinese goji berry variety in northwest China and uh, since these are just newly planted uh, uh, newly planted uh, so we are still trying to figure out uh, uh, how to grow them and hopefully uh, uh, next year they will be uh, much much more uh, productive and then goji berries um, are known to have uh, antioxidants uh, since they are more related to uh, uh, peppers and tomatoes and so they would probably have more uh, uh, carotenoids uh, than uh, anthocyanins uh, if they have any anthocyanins at all so it's an interesting crop to grow and Hopefully, we'll have uh, more growers uh, uh, growing them uh, in the future, and, and gardeners can easily grow them uh, in the home garden.